National Park Nighthawk men's basketball is on the Nighthawk Network, your official home for Nighthawk athletics this season. Our featured men's basketball player of the week this week, Mr. Roderick Massinat. Roderick, welcome to Nighthawk Nation of Trenton, New Jersey, kind of far from home. What was it like growing up and, and learning the game of basketball in New Jersey? First off, thank you for having me here. Um, it's an honor to be here, to be able to do this interview in front of everybody's family who's watching me right now. But um, growing up in Trenton, New Jersey, it was definitely a different kind of environment. You know, you didn't have everything you wanted as a kid growing up. The best thing I ever had was a basketball court at a park and a mom who worked hard. So, you know, I fell in love with the game early. Got a chance to, you know, work on my game because of the park. But then, you know, during wintertime when things get cold, find a rec gym or, you know. So that was really my, my experience growing up, just working hard, staying out the way, staying in the gym, and doing what I love and not following the in crowd. Working hard pays off, right? So on the high school level, that led to some success for you. Tell us about some of the things that you accomplished in your earlier days on the basketball court. Well, you know, growing up, my path was different. You know, I have a cousin, he plays in Spain right now, Franz Massinat. He was a star at Drexel University. So when I was in eighth grade, I got my first Division One scholarship by Drexel University, you know, and that, that really helped put me on the map. And, uh, you know, that was like a kickoff for my success. I wound up going to Roselle Catholic my freshman year, and we were the number two team in the country behind Ben Simmons. So I got to be around, you know, Isaiah Briscoe for a while, you know, Nas Reed's in the NBA, Lewis King, he's in the NBA. So, you know, it was just a, it was a good experience for me, you know, just being around those guys and then it, 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 it opened my eyes to see the game different. And then that just kind of took off. I wound up playing AAU with We Are One for a little bit, then Sports U, went to the national championship, got an opportunity to support my country, went to Haiti, you know, went to the national team trials over there, got to see life over there. So all of those things were successes, you know, then I finished my high school career off in my city at Trent Catholic where we won a, 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 a county championship and we went to the sectional championship as well. So I got a lot of success in my, in my city, I got a lot of success. What a journey. And it's a journey that's taken you to so many places that maybe other players may never get the chance to, to even do. And now your journey has brought you to Hot Springs, Arkansas. Have you ever been to Arkansas before in your life? Never. I thought it was actually going to be cold out here when I came and it was uh, the, the heat got me. The weather here is weird. We'll yeah. leave it at that. Yeah. But why National Park College? What was it about your journey that brought you here? God. It was all God. I was I was home. I didn't have no option at the time. I didn't have nowhere to go. And uh, I took a trip down to Houston where I, I, I met Rashard Lewis and, and his training staff. Those were guys that I used to be in the gym with all the time down in Texas. And just, you know, praying to God and doing the right things when I went out there one random night. Coach Hargrove just, you know, sent me the the dorm video, the gym, and, you know, just like the little stuff he'll send his recruits. And he gave me the opportunity. It was just perfect timing. So I took advantage of the opportunity I had, and that's how I ended up here. And the rest is history. Mm -hmm. You've come in and you've made Hot Springs a new home for you. I know you're far from New Jersey, but mm -hmm. you've really came in and you've meshed well. It's like you've played with these guys for years, even though you've only known them for months. What has your experience been like growing together with this team this year? It's been great. It's been great. You know, everything that looked good, on, and it ain't always easy, you know, to start off, you know. So you got a whole bunch of different personalities. You got guys that come from similar backgrounds, and you got guys who don't. And you just got to find a way to come together and put all of the, you know, differences to the side and get, got that common goal, and that's just the win. So it was it was a little rough in the beginning, but we stuck to it. And, you know, we got a lot of mature players on the team. And, you know, we didn't hold no grudges, nobody, no personal issues. And eventually it just all came together because we are basketball players at the end of the day. You've come in, you've made an impact for this program. You've came in and become an everyday starter. You're second on the team in scoring. You're second on the team in assists. You're second on the team in rebounds. You're well-rounded and you do everything well. And when it comes to field goal percentage, nobody does it better than number 11 on the court. What is it about your game that allows you to be just an all-around guy when it's your time to shine? Well, I grew up 
I grew up playing under a coach by Brian Goss in my city in Trent, New Jersey, and he 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 had me playing the center position when I started playing basketball. So he emphasized defense, rebounding, making the right play, because all I wanted to do was was break ankles and score. And he 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 implemented the importance of the game in me at a young age. So that that kind of stayed with me along the way. And then as I developed. You know, I started to pick up my offensive game, understand the game more, my knowledge of basketball, and it just, it just, the package just came. So that's that's how I, that's how I got there. The Nighthawks are coming off of their biggest win of the season, one and zero in NJCAA Region Two play. It is also your biggest game of the season, twenty three points in a twenty point win mm -hmm. over a big rival in North Arkansas College. What got into you on Saturday here in the kettle? My work, you know, I've been putting in work all year. It's no secret, and it's time now. You know, everybody want to go somewhere after this year. Everybody got their own goals. Everybody got their own vision of themselves. But if it ain't gonna happen now, it's never gonna happen. So, it's, it, the time is now. It's, it's what's needed. You could tell that the pioneers were were struggling to find an answer to what you could do on the court, offense, defense. Uh, just came on, put on a show. The crowd loved it. And now we're going to go into Thursday's game against SAU Tech, trying to do something that this team has never done before, and that's beat the Rockets. What's the game plan for Thursday, and how do you guys plan to stay undefeated in Region 2 play? Just come out and play harder than them. Come out and have more confidence and just believe that we're going to win. That's that's the only thing you can do besides strategizing them and going over their stuff, you know. But at the end of the day, when you step on the court, is is heart versus heart, man versus man. So if you feel like you you're not ready, then I have no mercy for you. Roderick, we've seen the success that you've had on the court this season, but take us behind the scenes. What goes into the hard work that you show us on the court each game? I pride myself on hard work. Every morning, Monday through Friday, you know, I, I go to the gym. Gym opens around 5.15 in the morning. I'm in there. I'm shooting 1,000 shots from 5.30 to 6.40. You know, an hour of ball handling right afterwards. So I'm dedicating my first two and a half hours in the morning to myself, you know, before anybody's awake, before the sun's awake, and it's just paying off. Rodrique, what are some of the goals that you're working toward, not only with this team, but on a personal level as well? Personal level, in in the six month time span, I want to be, I want to see myself at a Division One basketball school, playing in arenas, playing on TV, you know, being able to give my family a different experience, you know, because I, I feel like I owe it to them and I owe it to myself, and I sold myself short on that goal a, a long time ago and it's finally caught up to me. So that's definitely a short-term goal, a long-term goal I have, is to be able to, to go pro. I want to play in the NBA, and I believe that I, I'm an NBA player. So when that time comes, I'll be able to fend for my family and to be able to support my family in a new kind of way that I've never been able to before. You mentioned family. You certainly come in here and made a family in Nighthawk Nation, but from a young age and your journey coming up from New Jersey all the way to Arkansas, I know it's something that has stayed with you the entire journey. What does family mean to you? Everything. Everything. Those are the ones who never switched on me. They never turned their back on me. If I need something right now, they're going to have me. So it's everything, you know, everybody, all my family members have their own journey as well. You know, they're living their lives while I'm living mine. So it's important that I always keep them in my heart and keep in contact with them because you never know what they're going through. So family means everything to me. Roderick, congratulations on the honor this week. Good luck against SAU Tech. Is there anybody that you'd like to say hello to who may be watching? Absolutely. Uh, my mom. Hey, Ma, how you doing? I'm on, I'm on your screen now. It's going to get bigger. And uh, I got a couple coaches I want to shout out for helping me along the process. Kevin Gill, Jamal Green, Sean Trocom, uh Carlos Briggs, uh, Coach Brian Goss, um, Fred Fauci, my cousin, Franz Massinat, uh, you know, my brothers, my sisters, and my family members, and uh, Coach Justin, uh, and... and and, that, and Jamal Wise, those 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 people I just named have a big influence on my life, and they helped me get to where I am now. 
and, and, and I just appreciate y'all. I just want to let y'all know I'm giving y'all y'all flowers right now, and I appreciate everything y'all have done for me. Roderick Massinetta, the National Park Nighthawks men's basketball team. More on this week's game. Coming up, this is Nighthawk men's basketball on the Nighthawk Network.